Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 A War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies, a little bit of duct tape and some good good old fashioned passion. Let's hope the passion carries us through the next mission. We're up for Operation Foolish Breath. Um, and this looks like a banger because we are trying to counter the Stark event with uh, sealed armor. It's a moderately difficult mission, which tells us uh, are going to be at least 15 enemies, 13 to 15. So it's going to be difficult for packs of enemies, mutants, potentially uh, heavier mechs and so on. Maybe even the first towers, which would be good if we could loot one of those. And hence we're bringing our A team. Roby and Divert, who have been bonded together. We are now taking all of the new found ammunition that we do have. Just in case, I'm taking uh, the school check with us. Got a nice little flashbang as well. And we got one uh, more healing kit here. Uh, there hadn't been much mind control lately, but maybe that will happen uh, in the future. So. We're not going to go in with mine shields yet. We need all of uh, the offensive stats that we can get. Specifically, ways to shred the enemies because that's going to be our biggest problem here. I am even considering maybe going into heavy armor uh, just to get that extra shredder value going. All right, let's see how well we're going. Well, hello there. We have landed. Time to move there. Wow, only seven turns. I hope we could get our hands on the resistance order that gives us more turns to complete those missions. But this is going to be tough. Let's take a short look. Is there anyone near? No. Taking the risk of rushing in even further. Again, nothing. Okay, so now that we know this is safe, might as well. Getting it done. Okay. So, oh, six rounds. That's going to be a very, very tight timeline. Can't just jump down, this is too dangerous. On my way. Moving up with Divert. Roger that. And okay. continuing to move up over here. Not sure if this is going to work out. Okay, so Roby theoretically could hit him, maybe even kill him. Might as well use that as a starting point. Okay, so wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Well, that would work. Understood. Moving out. Full cover. Wait, 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 wait. Teamwork. All right, let's continue to hit him. That was a good hit. Okay, 
80%. Is it close enough? Weapon range. We can get four more percent by moving closer. Might as well do that. Taking out the cover. And taking out the trash. No! He dodged. Alright, X moves up. Triggering the next pack, but potentially that's really what we need to do. Might sound stupid, but we are actually quite under pressure here with the timing. Keep the high ground if possible. That's affirmative. Equally so, I don't want to be shot. Oh, let's see. That's a decent start. Could have used that right away. Let's try to hit him. It's a good first hit. Hair trigger. Nice, 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 nice. Go on. Oh, man. Too close. All right, we still have uh, more in us. A decent position down there. Come on, X. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, we are in full cover, so that's good. And Overwatch for any one of uh, them who is moving up. Oh, wow. Into full cover. Well, so much for that. Moving to position. Divert goes in, but can't just finish the job. I want the loot, so I am going to stand in the open. Hair trigger. Okay, we're moving down. Next turn, we're hopefully able to stabilize. out two more turns and we got to get closer
Beavert. I think we need to sprint in. Elsewise, we're not going to make it. Alright, Roby goes for full cover. Let's try to kill the tower. Didn't work out. We're still in it. Luckily that is full cover. I'm under fire. Venice one five, you're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. Look at that. Luckily for us. We made it just the time. Wow. That whole uh, that whole mission, I I needed to uh, be on the back foot the entire time. It's very difficult to to find a way to more effectively engage these guys. This might be a one-shot kill, depending on whether or not the tower actually breaks. No, nope, it did not. But we have shredded it, and this could be a kill. Of course. Shot wide. Of course. Oh, what? Through the rooftop! Classical XCOM. Alright, Roby moves up. We gotta deal with the Stun Lancer first. Tail and rounds. Takes care of business. Some more issues. Biggest one is that that tower can hit us everywhere. Let's offer a more attractive target, shall we? How much damage would we deal? Six, two, four, five. Yeah, that's almost. There's a good chance that that would kill the tower. This is increasing our chances of hitting it. X -ray neutralized. And finally the tower goes down. Now we're down to 1 HP here. This here will bring us out of line of sight and we're just overwatching in case more are coming. Well, talking about more. Very good. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little too warm over here. Hmm, what are we going to do?
This guy is a problem, but I want to make sure that we can actually hit him and hit him really well. High ground would be fantastic, so kind of moving over here and taking the fight to there would be good. Shinra takes the overwatch. So we got another entrance over here. Closing on target position now. Let's open the store. Take our shot and also neutralized. Kill him. Okay, wonderful. Back into full cover. We do Ooh, nice! We dodged it! We got 11 dodge rings and... or oh, 13 or something. And it actually worked out. Uh, that on the other hand was not good. Can I try to kill him? He has hunkered down. Okay, well... I suppose this is going to be the solution. Straight up good old kill. That should end the panic. It's not, okay. Reloading, 70%. Good riddance. Well, so far we haven't lost anyone, right? Right? On the move. Taking high ground. And that's a two for one. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Wow, what a mission. Nail biter. We got downed uh, and stabilized. A lot of shots from the tower, which was quite frankly. Uh, nasty, nasty uh, central unit there. Barely got uh, to finish off uh, the hack. And then it was even another pack on top of it. Wow. Well, the one thing that the rookie run does is deliver on really tough battles. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you can uh, win those battles with four rookies, you can easily win them with others. Expanded magazine, hair trigger, advanced laser sight, and do we have a turret? Yep, we got the turret. That's good because that's going to be our next research. Obsessive reloader, that's not a good trade. We gotta remove that. I am still hard at work on the current research priority, Commander. Good, four more days until Psionic's end. Boy, oh boy. What a close call. We're continuing making contact. For the Western US precinct. And unfortunately, our A team is now severely injured. Got the training facility ready. That's what I wanted to see. Very good. Commander, this facility will allow our soldiers to train together to improve their bonds. While also putting well, see, in combat towards learning no one could train here at the moment. No soldier bond increase, but that will happen over time. I think we've now unlocked at least their, their training option. 
low income. Yeah, and no one here. We don't nah, we don't have anyone to spare. Okay, well, training center is a non-event in this case, other than it now opens up uh, bond level two, so they can get bond experience and move into that direction, which isn't bad. Retaliation counter is reduced, and that brings us to the next retaliation mission. Oh no! Oh no, well... No rest for the wicked, I suppose. Yeah, we still got a few rookies to send into combat. Name, and by the way, Scythe here, yeah. Dismiss. Thank you. Hogbite and uh, inappropriate Murphy are allowed to stay, kind of as mascots. Or in Hogbite's uh, in Hogbite's case, case, I imagine him being the master sergeant, training all of uh, those guys. Because let's be honest, Bradford would not be a good master sergeant. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's almost two full squads, right? In terms of recruiting, got enough supplies, but I want to be careful. Johnny Bravo, Sam Walker, Tarek. We got a couple of uh, viewer characters here. Dark Tower Noxus. Almost all of them, my series, Quick Feet, all of those guys are viewer characters. Zirkim, Roby, the whole nine yards, everybody's here. So, uh, we're going to take one, I'll close the eyes and it's going to be Genethu Ferrandes. There you go, 40 supplies getting that extra rookie before a dark event comes in that makes them more expensive and i'll prepare this and we're going to see each other will need to in the next the mission thanks so much for watching if you enjoy the rookie in the run and specifically the harsh 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 missions please let me know how much you like it and uh, what your prediction is what's the kill count at the end of uh, this run are we going to lose our entire uh, roster or are we going to pull through? What's your thoughts? Uh, now is a good time to vote and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.